What's going on everybody? Mark Lane one here and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add overlays on Elgato software. I'll also be showing you guys how you can make your own custom overlays too. So stick around and I'll show you how. Alright guys, so the first step to adding an overlay on Elgato is to go to the settings up here, click en enable stream command, click enable and click OK. The second thing you want to do is you don't want to worry about this up here. This doesn't really matter. It's just trying to get your feedback from your Elgato. You even have to you don't even have to have your Elgato on to do this. Then after you click enable all that, you want to go to a blank one or you could go to a overlay one and delete the stuff off of it. But I'm going to use this blank one here. You just want to click it so it's blue. And then you want to click edit scenes. Then you want to go to this plus button and click add image. Then you just want to find the image that you want to put on there. And I will be using this one. And you just want to drag it till it fits over top. Now you can add a green screen here or you can add a webcam or add some text. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. You want to click this plus button again and you can add a face cam, a video, some text, a web page, or you can add one of Elgato scenes. But once you have everything figured out here, you just want to click save scenes. And that will be on there permanently. Now if you do want to delete this one off here, all you have to do is click edit scenes and click this X. So yeah, that's how you put an overlay on Elgato. If you do want to learn how to make your own overlay, please stick around. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your own custom overlay. Now, these are how I made my overlays. This is pretty, pretty simple. So I found one of these images on Google before of an overlay. I'll leave my overlay here in the description down below. But I downloaded this program called Paint.net. You could easily do this in Microsoft Paint. It is a free program that allows you to edit images. I would totally recommend this program to anybody that's starting out YouTube because it's free and you can make your own custom thumbnails on that. So you might not like the color blue. Maybe you want to make your overlay red. So you just want to get this paint bucket here and select the color red. Put it, click on there and it gets rid of most of the text and stuff. So you just do that around everything and your overlay's red. Now the subscribe stuff and the live stream thing, I will not put that on my final thing so you guys do not have to erase this. But if you do find one on Google and it has text on it and the bucket doesn't go over it, you can have the bucket go over it but you can still see the outline. So what I usually do is just take the paintbrush tool and I size it up a bit. Let's just go 50. And I just color the in like that, but it looks like I went over a little bit, so I'm gonna try that again. And there you go. That's how I make my custom overlays. It is pretty, pretty simple. So I hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. I really do appreciate you guys' help. The last two Elgato videos got close to 3,000 views. I really do appreciate that. And please share this with your friends. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.